Looks like it's time for another contestant, Jimmy. And maybe we should do something a little different this time. What do you think? I say right on, JP. King James the First, come on down. You're the next contestant, man. It's Hex Hey, stop it, heathens. Stop it. Thy celebrations be most unseemly. Uh, you do know this is a game show, right? Huh. A frivolous occasion. The Lord shall smite thee for thine insolence and profligacy. Yeah, okay. Maybe he can do that on the next commercial break. Meanwhile, how about telling Starch Pants here what he could win today, Jimmy? It's a fabulous fundamentalist gaming console. <laughs> it's the Mofundo game system. Comes with only one game, one controller, and a special microchip that turns the game off when you're having too much fun. The No Fundo from Soga. Hmm. Verily, I could indeed use one of those to occupy my spare time after I have completed my butter churning for the evening. Okay, well, speaking of only one game, here we are again with Explain the Variant. Jimmy, how about explaining our three variants for our contestant? Sure thing, JP. First, we have John 7, 8 through 10. Jesus' answer to his brother's challenge where he says he won't be going to the feast. Verses 7, 8 through 10 by John. Then we have Acts 8, 37 by Luke. Gives clear instructions on what to confess in order to be baptized. Verse 8, 37 in the book of Acts. And finally, Luke 9, 54 through 56. The disciples asking if Jesus will send fire down from heaven onto an unbelieving village. Luke 9, 54 through 56 by Luke. Thanks, Jimmy. Okay, King Jimmy. The question for this version of Explain the Variant is, which of these passages does the King James Version of the Bible have down correctly? Is it John 7, 8 through 10, Acts 8, 37, or Luke 9, 54 through 56? <laughs> I perceive that thou art a blasphemer. The Holy King James Version gets them all right. Well, then you can just pick one and you can win that game console, right? Ah, very well. I shall say with John 7, 8 through 10. John 7, 8 through 10 is... Incorrect! What? How dare thee? Thou art saying Jesus is a liar. Thou art the tool of Satan, you heathen. Tool of Satan, huh? Am I the hammer or a screwdriver? Okay, you have two choices left. Will it be Acts 837 or Luke 9, 54 through 56? If I were not so sorely in need of that game console, I would forfeit and quit the field. However, I shall say Acts 837. Acts 837 is... also incorrect. What? How couldst thou deny the authenticity of that passage? Without it, thou art lost not knowing whether one must believe before being baptized. Gee, Jim, how do you dress yourself in the morning without instructions from the Bible on how it's done? Well, that just leaves one more chance to win that game console. What do you say? Thou art of a certainty making a mockery of me. Nevertheless, I shall select Luke 9, 54 through 56. Luke 9, 54 through 56 is... Incorrect. What the Hades? First ye call Jesus a liar. And now thou hast turned him into a monster that shruggeth off his divine mission. Yeah, I guess without that he's sort of just wandering around aimlessly, huh?
Well, I guess you don't win that game, console. But I'll tell you what. Since you've been a good sport, I'll give you a slightly less valuable prize than I think you'd enjoy even more. Hmm, slightly less valuable? What dost thou mean? Ha! That heathen may have been a heathen, but of a certainty he was correct. I enjoy this console much more than the other one. Ha! Take it that! Take it thou that, thy demon! Ha ha ha!